Good afternoon and welcome to Lisa Loves. We are finally getting around to doing the Halloween. You may see Molly pop in here. She's just below my feet. We're finally getting around to do the Halloween season tag. I was waiting, hoping I could change my facial expression. It's not happening. Every time I go to record a video that Isaac's in, he annoys me before we start and gets his face on me. So I'm just explaining, as I know a few of you have commented on it. Um, so yeah, my face is like this because Isaac waits until I say, that video you've been nagging me to do for two days, do you want to do it? I say, right, let's do it. We sit down to do it. And then Isaac proceeds to arse about. Today it was hitting himself round the face. It was putting his nose right up to the camera repeatedly while I'm trying to press the button. I'm irritated. But I'm going to do it anyway because I'm struggling to get time to fit my tags in. So, here we go. This is the Halloween season tag created by Michael Myers 101 and this is his first tag creation so um, as many people as possible to do this would be awesome. It's gone around quite a bit actually at the minute and um, I've seen quite a few of you do it and I thought we would do it as well. Um, my husband is sat off camera so I may ask his answers to some of these questions. They'll probably be quite similar to mine but I'll ask anyway. And Isaac's here just to see how much more I can annoy me this evening. Right, there are eight questions. Um, I will pop them below in the comments or the description. Um, number one, what is the quintessential movies for you to watch around Halloween? I've already explained quintessential to Isaac, so what's the answer? Mine is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And the other ones are just that one? Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, there is one, but I can't remember its name. Um, we're trying to get Isaac to watch some... Um, Halloween type movies this year. He's not a fan of scary movies, so he won't watch anything really scary. And um, we watched Ernest Scared Stupid a couple of weeks it's so ago. Funny. A week ago. Um, we've got Hocus Pocus to watch. Um, he's seen like things Little like Shop Casper of Horrors. We started watching Little Shop of Horrors, but to Darren's great joy, there was an issue mm. with the, the copy, so we couldn't watch it. Um, right, mine would be probably as well Trick or Treat, but if we're going adult horror, we'll go with Trick or Treat as in the one with Sam, and um, the original Halloween. Is yours any different to that, or is that yours? It's not really have any favourite Halloween type films, just to stick a nice horror on. He doesn't have any Halloween favourite films. I don't know if that is going to be picking up on here or not, um, but because we watch a lot of horror anyway, um, really around Halloween doesn't make much difference. We watch horror all year round. So number two, what's my favourite costume I've ever worn? Go to you first, Isaac. It was my zombie costume. Oh, from last year? Yeah. This afternoon when Isaac was at the park, I sat and pulled out a plethora of old photographs of outfits, which I'm mm -hmm. going to pop up when I'm showing, when I'm talking. Um, I will pop up one of the zombie outfit Isaac's talking about here. Um, it's also done, let me see, Ghostbusters. Rambo. He did Ghostbusters last year with the Proton Pack. Um, he Darth he didn't do Dark Mall at Halloween. Did no. I um, did Dark Fear. I think he did a ghost pirate, which I thought was quite cool. Oh yes. Um, we have pictures of him in Halloween outfits from when he was a baby. I will also pop these up, much to his probable distress. Um, are you snoring? What's that amount of wheezing about there going on? Um. Yeah, so Isaac gets dressed up every Halloween. School will mm -hmm. usually do a dress up day. This year he's going as Dracula because it has to be like, you know, suitable for children. Oh. Um, he also is possibly doing Jason Voorhees. For Can you stop puppy. kicking the stand, please? This is an example of what I'm talking about. He's now kicking the tripod. Um, and there's another one that he's got that I can't remember. Right, Molly, I'm going to have to put you down because your little paws are digging in. Down you go. There she goes. So, I haven't dressed up in Halloween probably in quite a while. Me and Darren dressed up a few years ago when we went to see Alice Cooper do a Halloween sort of gig. Um, he dressed up as a zombie. I've got photographs, I will insert them. And I was, if anyone watches True Blood, the waitresses with a little Merlot's top, I had one of those. And I was like a vampire Merlot's waitress. So I will put up links to that. Another year we went out to a rock club, um, Darren dressed up as the oh. clown. No, I'm not going to tell you what he called the clown. 
this is a, a universal PG video. It won't be very pleasant. Fletch then. Just swap the letter around. We went to see Danny Vaughan in an acoustic gig. If that means nothing to you, Taiketo. Um, the dog is now messing with the tripod. Um, that night I dressed up as Billy the Puppet from Saw. The makeup was a bit rubbish, she to be saw. fair. She saw. I called myself. With jigsaw cut out on your chest. I'll put a picture up. Um, Darren went as a rather freaky clown, which which disturbed a lot of people there that night. Um, I can't think of any more off the top of my head at the minute, but I will put photographs in of any I find. What's your favourite? I like that zombie for Alice Cooper. Right, so Darren likes his Alice Cooper zombie, which I will have inserted a picture of for you to see. Um, number three, what is... Right, I, and this is going to be the same answer for all three of us. What is my favourite pumpkin food? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. We don't like pumpkin food. Um, something that... Oh, Molly, for goodness sake. On at this day is just going to... I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. Um... The dog's messing with the tripod, it's, it's now crooked. Look, <clears throat> other people would pause this. Pause, uh, dog. Is that it? <laughs> um, now she's wandering under it again. People are sent to test me, they really are. Um, this is something that Aaron from Screen Stars and Leo from Geek Legion of Doom both pointed out on their videos, and I will as well. In the UK, Halloween is not really properly celebrated. It's not a big festival like it is in the UK, US. Um, some people just don't do it at all. Mm -hmm. Most people probably put their lights off and don't answer the door to kids. Lots of places like my parents area, they never have any trick-or-treaters. They just aren't any. Um, out here we're in a small village and they do have, have some kids that like to trick-or-treat. Um, but like myself and my husband have always liked Halloween. I think everyone that likes horror likes Halloween. And we would love it to be a much bigger thing. Um, county Down, actually, which I've always wanted to do. They, um, there's a county in Northern Ireland do like a really, really massive Halloween like um, parade. Derry, yeah. Derry, that's yeah. it. Um, yeah. Catch so, Derry. So, um, yeah, we'd like to go to that because it's massive. It's a massive, massive, big thing where everyone dresses up um, and has this big fancy parade. But um, yeah, there's. It's crap. It, it's not good. There's no proper celebration. There's no. There's just not the same sort of atmosphere or air that you get in America. Um, we we like it, but most people just don't bother about it. We don't eat pumpkin foods. Mm. We um, either throw the innards of the pumpkin in the bin, or Darren has a habit of using it as fake vomit to put on the pumpkin outside to make it look like the pumpkin has thrown up. I will insert a picture. Right, number four, what is your favourite timeline? Right, you won't get this. This was just for me and possibly Darren. What's your favourite timeline in the Halloween franchise? I couldn't have answered this a couple of weeks ago, but I've recently watched all the Halloweens again. I'm going to say, well, obviously take three out. Darren agrees with that. Um, I'm going to say one and two. Um, although don't have Laurie Strode dead, as she is in two. She obviously was like making that up so she could go and live a double life somewhere else as a teacher of a school. So take us straight from one, two, is it five or four where she comes back in? Five? Oh, I can't remember. Wherever she comes back in again um, and we find out that she's the teacher at a high school and she has faked her own death. Take us from one, two to that. That's my timeline. Um, number five, what's your favourite character? Oh, this is another one you can't answer. Well, maybe you can. What's your... Isaac hasn't seen the Halloween franchise. What's your favourite character in the Halloween franchise? It's the Sam Count. Sam's in Trick or Treat. Okay. Halloween is Michael Myers. Okay, Michael Myers then. Michael Myers. I'm going to say Dr. Loomis. He makes it. He's just fantastic. I'm going to again refer you to We Watched a Movies video at a scare fest with, dressed up as Dr. Loomis and Michael Myers. Just in case you didn't watch my last video where I mentioned it, it's really funny. Watch it. What about yours? Oh, I've always liked uh, Mr. Pleasance. He's very pleasant. Yeah, but, I like Dr. Lemus as well. Um, just stick to the first Halloween film with Mr. Myers. I'm going to annoy a lot of people now and say that they watered it down too much from two, four, five onwards. So you think there should just have been one just and then one. that's it? Just one. Disagree. Just one. Um, if, they can't, if they can't beat it, don't remake it. Two was really good as well. 
Um, number six, what's your favourite Halloween themed activity or event? What do you like doing best at Halloween? Carving pumpkins. Carving pumpkins? Even more than trick or treating? Seriously? Um, for me it would have, well the, my favourite thing that I've done at Halloween is definitely going to the Alice Cooper gig, that was awesome. But every Halloween, I don't know, decorating the house, there's nothing, I used to enjoy trick or treating until little swords nicked all the sweets, that just put me off for life. Um, I probably will still put something together for the little kids and then when it gets to a certain time of night this house is going to have no light on because I'm a bad tempered mother. I'm not giving teenagers sweets so they can steal them on me again. I can't say there's, like I say, there's nothing really in the UK that you can do. There's no parties or anything like that. So, I don't know, just get an Isaac dressed up and Darren usually takes him around trick-or-treating and stuff. So probably that, um, watching scary movies all day. We've got a party to go to this year, the night before Halloween at a friend's house and it's fancy dress, so that'll be cool. Um, and then hopefully Isaac will have a friend's birthday party on Halloween night where they usually dress up and then go trick-or-treating after. So we've got fingers crossed they're going to pick Halloween night for that party. They haven't confirmed yet, but we shall see. You're missing one out. What? Gorging. Go yeah, gorging. Eating Told too you, many sweets. Go up and your teeth go furry. Yeah, eating too many sweets. Darren has a habit of eating a lot of sweets and trying to blame me on being the muncher in this house. Darren thinks I don't realise that he goes into Isaac's sweet bowl and eats the sweet side of it. He thinks I don't know these things. Not I know mice. these things. We don't have mice. Right, number seven. What's your favourite pumpkin style carving? Jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern is a pumpkin, that's what they call them. In America you call it jack-o'-lanterns, here we just call it pumpkins. Traditional. What they mean is, you know the faces that you cut into them? You know the way you can get ones that are like just normal with the eyes and the spiky teeth? I like the one where it looked a bit like Jack Skeleton. Ah, right. Um, Darren's favourite's definitely traditional. Just a traditional jaggedy mouthed scary pumpkin. Isaac likes... Um, the one did... that looks like Jack Skeleton. Um, I really like the quite intricate ones where people sort of carve from the stencils, but I wouldn't for a second try and do mm -hmm. it. Are you nudging me? No. Um, what stencils? Stencils is like a piece of paper with bits cut out and you follow the, you know like tracing? Oh yes, we and have you follow it. Still. You follow it with a knife and you cut it out and then it gives you something really cool like, I don't know, Frankenstein or like really intricate pictures but I couldn't do it, I'd be crap so I don't do it. Darren should do it because he's artistic but he mm. doesn't like them. I he am. likes the traditional ones so I'm we've never had one of those fancy ones. Vomiting traditional ones. Yeah, he likes vomiting ones. I'm not a fan of those at all. It's Me disgusting. Either. Right. Um, and this is the last question. What does Halloween mean to you? Hmm. It's a hard question for a child, isn't it? It means dressing up and sweeties no. and parties and scary movies. No. It means... One is having fun, Good. two is watching movies, Good. and three is carving pumpkins, yeah. and four is getting even more sweets, and five is getting even more sweets, and six is going to parties, and then six is get I mean, seven is getting even more sweets, and then more sweets, and then more sweets, and more sweets. I think Halloween means sweet. sweets in this house. Um, again, to me it means frustration at the UK not being the same as America and us not getting to do loads of cool events. Like I say, there's that massive, he's still talking about sweets, there's that big parade in Derry which we want to go but it's really late at night so we'd probably have to stay in a hotel. We've got Molly so it's, mm, um, I don't know how that's going to work but it's one of these things, you want to do stuff but then it's not really doable. Um, but it just needs to be more people. We wanted to throw a big Halloween party this year on Halloween night for all the kids in the village. That sounds like some sort of dodgy British sitcom. All the kids in the village. Um, and sort of like have it as a fancy dress, get some bouncy castles, some treats and things and let the kids have a wheel of a time. But um, Isaac's friend's birthday sort of coincides and his mother hasn't confirmed the date yet. So... Um, we were sort of shot down with that idea and we would have probably made it an annual thing as well for the kids which would have been really cool but meh. So at the minute there's nothing planned for Halloween night until this birthday hopefully will come up. If it doesn't we'll have to think of something else. But um, Halloween for me means frustration at it not being more Halloweeny. 
There we go. What about you? Me? Hmm. Oh, uh... I don't really know. This may take some time. You've asked yeah. Darren a, a, a somewhat tiny bit of a deep question and you're going to wait half hour for an answer here. Yeah. I'll go with Isaac's view. Right, so uh, to Darren it means sweets, more sweets, 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 more sweets and horror movies. And sweets. And um, even more sweets! So during the course of this, if I haven't put all the pictures that I hooked out, there's that word again, hooked, hooked. Um, I will probably insert them at the end of this. I found pictures of Isaac as a baby in his boo costume with his boo hat. I found one of you as Dracula. I think mm -hmm. you were two. Um, and you were, I found one of you like in a spider costume at preschool party. Probably. It's going to be really embarrassed. Um, I found one of him in his Rambo costume, Ghostbusters, Zombie, uh, um, and then there's one of him in his Joker costume, as in Batman and Joker, Ghost Pirate, why are you out of shot? So yeah, there's quite a few of Isaac, not so many of us, um, because we don't really go anywhere on Halloween, because the UK is boring. One thing the Americans don't understand though is they've had it easy all the way through having carved pumpkins, whereas... The traditional method turnip. what we used to have was to carve a turnip. Their challenge, I'm saying them, is to carve a turnip. They might not be able to hear any of what you're saying. You're right, I'm going to repeat that to in case it hasn't come through. In America, you've always carved pumpkins. In the UK, when I was a kid and when Darren was a kid, um, we used to have turnips. That was do you call them sweets? Yeah. Do they call them sweets in America? Yeah. Turnips, little hard, round sort of vegetables um, and my grandmother I remember her carving out a turnip um, that could not have been an easy job and apple dunking I don't know if you do that where you yes we did in America where you put apples in water and oh, dunk and bonkers. take a bite out which a lot of people don't like because of germs I tell you what's the world coming to today hey, everybody's wait. everybody's terrified of the future you got all your makeup on the first thing you do is bring Bobby for apples it's like what when I was a child this is something I have to interlude I don't know about boys but when I was a child your costume was a black bin bag what the? Yeah. with a hole cut on the top for your head you tied yeah. it around the waist you were a witch you got bought a cheap witch's hat that maybe cost 50p and you had a garden broom with some sticks silly taped around the end of it and you were a witch, and that was our Halloween costumes. We didn't have any of that fancy smancery when we were kids. You got some soot wiped around your eyes. <laughs> oh, I'm a ghoul. Darren got some soot wiped around his eyes, yeah. We were waifs and urchins, and this wasn't meant to go on for 20 minutes. I apologise, that's way too long. So that is the Halloween season tag created by Michael Myers 101. It's his first tag, so um, get it done this October before Halloween reaches us. Um, hope you enjoyed our answers, and it's over and out. From Lisa Loves, Isaac and Darren.